I am a chair side, make stuff with my own hands kind of guy. Keller Lab makes these NTI Plus. These are, what's the name of the material that they're made out of? Crystal clear? Crystal clear 450. Those are 450. <laughs> Upgrade. They used to be the 325s. <laughs> Whatever that meant. <laughs> these are not therapeutic devices. They get you out of the of having to do what I do and how much putty do you do if it's too much, all that kind of stuff. These look terrific. They don't, they're not going to turn yellow, but there's one thing they can't do is treat the patient. We do that. When I look at these things, I start thinking, is that too much vertical at the back end of that lower discluding element? Does this need to be ramped down a little bit? Here's an, this is a, an upper version. Does that discluding element need to ramp up because so when they protrude, they're not opening still further? Upper, disc, upper NTI devices, all, typically the discluding element is ramped down because they like the, the discluding element up back behind the incisors, which means that it's ramping down. So the patient protrudes and they're opening more condyl rotation as they protrude. So an upper NTI device that is beyond the inside, it's got to get back to level and ramp itself back up. So I've had dentists actually say, nah, I don't know about those NTI pluses. Sometimes I have to grind on them. Ha! Huh. You better, you better look. You better look and see what's going to happen. I mean, you grind on it and you polish it. Big deal. Otherwise, you think the NTI pluses don't work. Because it's a therapeutic protocol. It's not a piece of plastic. I love that thing. They call that the Terminator. I can remember making an NTI device and they would just shred that discluding element. Shred it. I would take an old 557 burr instead of throw it away. I would dig, dig a trench in the, in the discluding and bury it in there with acrylic. So there are patients with no posterior occlusion generate enough vigor to shred anything anteriorly. They don't have any symptoms. They're just blasting through devices. You can have metal on metal. It's a great, it's, it's a, once you get what's happening to these patients, how it gets that way and how it stays that way, it's all arts and crafts after that. This is a perfectly legitimate, smart thing to do.